Hi everyone, it's Kira, and I'm here in Chicago on what is appears to be almost a 70 degree day. It's mid-February, so I don't know what happened to winter, but as you loopies know, um, that the sun causes lupus flares for most of us, and um, I've noticed a lot of my friends, sisters, and brothers with lupus are getting lupus flares right now, and um, my hunch is that it's because it's all of a sudden a lot sunnier in a lot of places in the United States um, and in the world. So I am getting ready to go into the store and the store I'm going to has fluorescent lights so I'm gonna cover up. I've got an infinity scarf. This is from a company called Coolabar and this is sun protective. Um, and I have my sun protective gloves on which I pretty much wear every day. And in the car I keep a sun hat um, this is this one happens to also be from Coolabar. I don't know if you can see the the name there. Coolabar is a good company. They're kind of expensive, but um, they do kind of work with people with lupus. So you might see if you can get some kind of a scholarship. Um, and also people with skin cancer. So the other tip that I'm going to give you today is getting out of the car. Um, I, in the car, um, and often when I go on walks when I can walk. I carry a, an umbrella which is a sun umbrella. Um, it is not a regular umbrella. If you're using an irregular umbrella you're actually not getting sun protection because the material is porous and the sun is actually coming through it. Uh, you, you need um, a titanium umbrella which is this one. This one actually is not from Coolabar. I just found it online. Um, and so when I'm getting ready to exit the car I open the door part way and I take my umbrella, and I've gotten really good at doing this with one hand, because sometimes I'll be like carrying my purse, and I open the umbrella right in the doorway, right there, and I exit the car, kind of like a movie star, just get right out into the shade of my own umbrella, and I just wanted to give you guys this tip because you can do this too. Um, you have to get really creative and find ways to stay in the shade and, and keep healthy and um, cover up with fluorescent lighting when you're in stores or public places that have it. They're starting to change to LED, which is our goal, but um, there's still some fluorescents that are making us sick. Um, I w I'm also wearing sunscreen, so I'm really doubling up on everything. Sometimes just sunscreen alone isn't enough, so you got to have the clothing and the hats and the sun umbrellas. So stay safe and stay healthy and stay shaded. Thanks. Bye.